Please go ahead and give us your name, Orish. <laughs> We have this guy here. I could hear somebody yeah. laughing there in the background, but go ahead and give us your name where we're streaming from. Yeah, it's <laughs> Gabriel. My brother, Jesus. And now, I got the advice on everything. I did that. Angel, Angel, we could hear all of your business. Angel, but go ahead and unmute yourself and give us your name and the country you're streaming in from. My name is Dr. Harry Benjamin. I'm streaming from planet Earth by way of Houston, Texas, USA. Please unmute and tell us where you're streaming in from. We'd love to know. Uh, good evening, everyone. This is Victor Riley streaming in from Jamaica, Swiss Re Jamaica. Thank you so much for having me, Dr. B. Welcome to the call, Victor. It's our joy to have you on here. Welcome to the call, sir. Anyone else? Give us your name or where you're streaming from. We'd love to hear. You have Houston. Uh, uh, yeah, my name is Dr. Harrison. I'm streaming in from Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome from Lagos, Nigeria. So we have Jamaica and the Caribbean, Lagos, Nigeria, and Africa, uh, Houston, Texas, here in the U.S. Who else do we have online with us today? Hello. Hello. My... Hello. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm Jonathan St. Penny. I'm calling from uh, United States, Pennsylvania. Hey, welcome, Jonathan. It's our joy to have you here with us. Thank you. All right, awesome. Who else do we have out there streaming in? Go ahead and give us your name or where you're streaming from. Okay. Hello, this... Yes, go ahead. Oh, hi. Hello, good evening, everyone. Yeah. This is Gabby. Um... Uh, good, everyone. Um... Okay, so that person's line was cracky, but Garby, I heard you, Garby from the United Kingdom. Oh, hi, yes, I'm Garby from the United Kingdom. I'm very, very grateful to be here today. Good evening, everybody. Oh, wonderful. Welcome to the call. Who else do we have out there? <laughs> oh, Sonia. Uh, <laughs> yes, Sonia Copeland. Yes, streaming in from uh, Mandeville, Jamaica. Mandeville, Jamaica. Welcome. <laughs> Who else do we have out there? Give us your name or where you're calling in from. Hi, Dr. B. Hi, everybody. This is Scholar streaming in from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Welcome, Scholar. Glad to have you here with us. Who else Thank do we you. have? You're welcome. Good evening, everyone. This is Bright streaming in from Nigeria. Welcome from Nigeria, Bright. <laughs> All right. Who else do we have out there? Give us your name or where you're streaming from. Anyone my else? Name my name is Harry. Streaming in from Lagos, Nigeria. My name's sick, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the call, sir. Uh, wonderful you, to have you here with us. All right. Thank Anyone you. else? Give us your name or where you're streaming from. We'd love to hear. All right. All right. So let's dive in, right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's dive right in. Uh, please make sure that you're in a quiet place. Please make sure that you have something to take notes with. And uh, this is going to be a very interactive training. Uh, you will be uh, encouraged to come off mute and participate, speak up, ask questions, answer questions that I may ask, and be involved. And just briefly, Dr. Harry Benjamin is my name. I'm Jamaican American. I grew up in Jamaica, became a medical doctor, veered off into the space of being an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur for almost three decades. I've been involved in the automobile industry, and I've also been involved in real estate, health and wellness, uh, network marketing, and recently trading the financial markets. I have developed the skill sets in the network marketing industry uh, over the last 14, going into 15 years, and I've already successfully helped people in the industry to earn anywhere from 500 US dollars a month to as much as $20,000 a month. Now we're in a relatively new business right now. It's about, it's three going into four years and we're shaping up to do something really, really big. So this training that we do every Sunday, the purpose of it is to help individuals to understand what it is that they will need to do to be able to develop at least a $10,000 per month residual income from this opportunity known as extreme lifestyle. 
we are leading what's called a wealth creation project. That's the name of what I have coined it to be. And the focus here is to help people all over the world to create wealth. So welcome from the UK, welcome from different parts of the US, welcome from Jamaica, welcome from Nigeria. And I know we have partners here from uh, Kenya in our team and we have Zambia as well. So also Trinidad and Tobago. So we've been spreading our wings and our tentacles into different areas around the world and helping people in different countries. So this call will become a very, very important part of our weekly activities that are gonna help you and I to be able to achieve whatever it is that our, our, our objective is. And I believe in being transparent. I believe we need to be very clear about what it is that we need to do and also need to understand exactly what is going to be required if you're going to be successful in this model. So we're here to talk about the weekly commission. Now there's trading, for those who have been in the community, you know that uh, this is definitely where you can learn how to use your phone, your laptop, you'll be able to watch your videos, you'll be able to come to live classes, you can answer, get all your questions answered, and you'll be able to develop the skill set to be able to trade the market. But we also, ladies and gentlemen, want you to earn a weekly commission. We want you to earn a weekly commission. Why? A weekly commission becomes insurance to your trading account. So just in case you make a mess of your trading account, just in case you blow the money in your trading account, if you have weekly commissions coming in from building the team and participating in helping us to build the team, you insure your trading account. So just in case, we're not saying you're going to lose the money in your trading account, but you can. Several of us have, including myself. So if you have a weekly commission coming in, it reinforces your position and gives you a much better situation to be able to make your way forward. All right? All right, so let's dive in. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So today, what I want to do is just remind us of what we discussed last week, and then I'm going to go into... Um, some income, and then we're going to go into what we need to do in terms of activity to make that income. So last week, we covered this in network marketing, massive exposure is everything, the fortune is in the follow-up, and we must work with the willing. You did not, uh, we're not here last week, or you did not get a screenshot, screenshot this statement and memorize it, okay? It's a very, very important principle in succeeding in this industry. And then we spoke about building a list of prospects, 15 to 25 prospects using SIF, right? The recording for this is on the, uh, my YouTube channel, The Wealth Creation Project. And if you don't have the link for it, you can just simply send me a chat and I'll send you the link so you can go and watch last week's training. We went into more detail in what a self-starter is, influential, financially capable, teachable, and trainable. We also went last week into how to recruit new members using PS3. Peak interest, show the presentation, three-way calls. We even called someone online last week. Some of you who were here remember that. We spoke to, I spoke to Nkiru in front of you live. Nkiru came um, and was on the call. I introduced her to the opportunity. She watched the video. And then on Tuesday of this week, I introduced her by three-way call to Mr. Bright. Aja Ezukwe, and she is now processing the information. And I spoke to her yesterday. I chatted with her yesterday. And she says she was a little caught up doing some other things, but she will get back to me because she's very interested. So I'll keep you up to date on that example. So you'll see us bring it through to completion. And she went through this PS3. I piqued her interest live here in front of everybody. I sent her the video. She watched it. On Tuesday, I did the three-way call with Bright. And now we're here today. Now, I want to get into how to do a three-way call and the power of edification. But before I do that, I'm going to show you real, real results, right? Because I want us to realize that this is, I'm, I'm not here to blow smoke, right? I'm not here to blow smoke. So this is extreme lifestyle, okay? Extreme lifestyle, all right? And for those who are already a registered member, you have a login like this, right? Wealth Creation is my username right here. That's my personal username. 
And I also have a, two other accounts, one in my wife's name, C. Benjamin, and the other one is called Wealth Mission, and that's from my, from my daughter, right? So, and I personally build the three accounts, right? I personally build those three accounts and um, earn from the three accounts, okay? All right, so please log in. Um, so I'm logging in to my main account, and I'm just going to show us, you know, just dive into money today. So we're looking at money, right? So these are the tabs that you'll see in the back office. If you have one, if you don't have one, if you register with us, you'll receive one of these logins. So you'll be able to have access to a platform like this. When I started back in 2021, January 25th, 2021, I paid $168 to register at that time. And that was the only time I ever took any money out of my family's resources to pay to Extreme. I've never since that time made a second payment out of my resources to Extreme. I've never, I've not done that a second time. Okay? Just want to make that very clear. I made one payment. Somebody come off mute and tell me, how many times did I pay money out of my pocket or credit card to Extreme? Somebody unmute and tell me. Anybody? How many Which times did I say? One well, time. You, you said one time. No time. One time. Well, yes, one in, time. Jamaica, in Jamaica, we would say one dege dege time. One dege dege time. Great. Thank you very much. All right. Now, the, the history of the earnings are going to be too much to show, but I'm just going to show you some. All right, so over here is what's called a wallet. You can see I have over here reserve funds. Let me get that. Get this out of my way. And uh, what do I do that up here? Yes, 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 right here. All right, so this should give us a little bit better view, all right? Okay, all right, so we could see account transfers withdrawals, right? Now, reserve funds means that I'm withdrawing $781, right? Can we see that? What date is this? Somebody tell me, what date is this? Anybody? That is um, Saturday's date. Two days ago. All right, so that's November, November um, one. First of November, yeah. Mm -hmm. First of November, all right, November one. Okay, good. So I'm withdrawing seven hundred eighty-one dollars. All right, so let's look at the history here. Let's look at the history here. So I'm going to just show us the history of this. All right, and then it shows ten transactions at a time. Let's put it at one hundred transactions, right? So we could go back to see if. If, if any money is being being earned here, right? So over here is November 1, right? You could see that I'm withdrawing $781. Um, let's go back one week before that, um, which is, okay, here it is November, October. What date is this, somebody, anybody? Uh, what date is this? Right here. Unmute somebody and tell me what date is that? 27th of October. 27th of October. And what does it say right here where I highlighted it? Commission payment. And what does it say here? Take it, seller, withdraw. And how much is this right here? It's on around $3. All right, let's go back again. What date is this? 20th of October. All right. So this here was the 27th, and this is the 20th. Is that one week apart? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What does it say here? Take quick, quick card withdraw. And how much is this? $890. Okay. All right. Let's go back again. What date is this? Uh, 13th of October. Is that one week before the 20th? Um, yeah. Yes, it is. What does this say? Pay quick at withdraw. And how much is that? Right, one dollar. It's All right. One. Okay, let's go back. Go again. What date is this? Seventh October. Is that one week before the thirteenth? Before the the other one? Yeah. Yeah. How much is this? Okay. 
787. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's go back again. What date is this one? October. Okay, so it seemed like the seventh, the fifth. I don't know why it's so close. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I remember why I did it like that. But anyway, you could see here, October, what date is this? Fifth. Yeah. And how much is this withdrawn? 731. All right, let's go back again. Let's go back again. What date is what date is this? Ninth September. Twentieth September. Twentieth. So that's that is that two weeks from the last one that I took before. I took two close to each other. Does meet and then you say, ah, "This is my type. This is my type." Yetunde, <laughs> I could hear you over there. <laughs> All right. How much is this? Would that withdrawn over here on the twentieth of September? Seven hundred and ninety-six. All right, let's go back again. Uh, from the from this is the fifteenth, right? Is that one week, approximately one week before the twentieth? Yeah, yeah. Approximately. How much is that withdrawn? Yeah, Okay. All right. What date is this one? Night September. September seventh, right? And how much withdrawn? Seven ninety one. All right, let's go back to here. What date is this one? First That's September. September. Yeah. Much was withdrawn? It's far in. All right, let's go back to this one. What date is this? Twenty fifth uh, July, twenty fifth uh, of, of August. Twenty fifth August. And how much was withdrawn? One thousand from thirty five. All right. Let's go back to. So this is another. This is the seventeenth. Okay. Here's here's a nine hundred. Okay. What date is this? Tenth of August. And how much was withdrawn? Nine hundred dollars. All right, great. So, okay, I mean, you notice that we could keep going, right? You see them, right? You see the, 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 the withdrawals. You could see that, right? You, if you keep, this is just, uh, I, I did 100. You could see there are several pages here, right? So we could keep going back, okay? All right, uh, to whatever, the beginning of this whole process. So I want us to then, I wanna, okay, before I do that, let me just come here and go to here. I'm gonna log in, right? So here's what's called a rank, right? Here's what called, what's called a rank. You could see my rank, gold in the company, current rank gold. And for those who know how to read this, you could see that I'm qualified for gold again this week. Is that correct? Anybody out there understand that? Yes. Based on these points? Right, yes. Good. So, okay, good. So I'm working towards diamond now. Now let's look at top five. Let's go to this part and look at top five, right? All right. See that Benjamin is one of my accounts. And in the last day, see Benjamin, this sponsors, top five sponsors. Right? So the people who are sponsoring new people into the company. See Benjamin is one of my accounts. You could see that I sponsor two Hobbs Energy. Congratulations. He just won his free t-shirt. Ronald uh, Harry Chuk. Woodum. <laughs> Harry Chuck Woodum. Let's put let's put some hand claps in the chat for Harry, right? This is Harry right here, right? This is my, this is not me, Harry. This is my friend Harry from Lagos. Are you out there, Harry? I, I'm sure I saw him jump on the zoom. Right? But uh yeah. Yes, okay, I'm, here. Then, I'm here. You're here. All right. So you got a free t-shirt because you sponsored one person. All right, anybody oh, who sponsored oh. a person between November 1 to December 1, the company will give you a free extreme branded shirt. And you all you have to do is to go to support sending a ticket that you sponsored someone and they'll mail you your shirt. Okay. All right, last week you could see that see Benjamin last week, which is this week that we're in that ends today, too, right? But let's go to last month. All right. Wealth Mission is my other account. Right? Can you see that last month, Wealth, Wealth Mission was the number one recruiter, right? With six people. And then these others are other members in the company. And let's go to the month. This month, you could see C. Benjamin is there, 
right? You know, this month of November that just began, right? And then last year, let's look at the three accounts that I have. Last year, C. Benjamin is at the top. Wealth Creation, that's my other account. And Wealth Mission, that's my other account. So personally, I've been recruiting a lot of people. And what I'm seeking to do right now is to help you to be able to be in this list of top recruiters. That's why we're here for the training. So if you then do the same things that I've been doing, what's going to happen to your weekly withdrawal? Somebody tell me. Anybody? If you, if you do the same things I've been doing over the last year, what's going to happen to your weekly withdrawal? Anyone? <laughs> okay. Let me see. You go it look good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> we will Thank duplicate. You. We will duplicate. You will do what you have what done. If, if you yes. do the same things I've been doing, you'll get the same results. Is yeah. that fair? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not rocket science, right? I'm I'm just sharing with you the basics of this. Okay, so let's go back to the to the training. All right, we'll finish with this back office stuff for the time being. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm being transparent. I am not here to blow smoke at anyone or jazz you up so you can feel good and feel excited, and you know you you're not getting anything meaningful. So I'm showing you the results I've achieved, and I'm now showing us what I do to create those results. Okay. Simple. How do I how do I get someone involved? Because it's a no, it's it's a function of the number of people it will have involved. So you have to one build your list. Well, just go back to the statement. Massive exposure is everything. The fortune is in the follow up, and we must work with the willing. Then we must build our list, right? We build our list, and then by building our list, building our list. All right, oops, oops. Yeah, build our list. 15 to 25 prospects, we start there. But for those who want to earn $10,000 a month, 15 to 25 people are, is not going to do it. But it's a good start, okay? Then self-status, influential, financially capable, teachable and trainable. And then peak interest, show the presentation, three-way calls. So last week, we peaked the interest of Nkiru. Do you remember Nkiru, right, that we spoke to on Tuesday? You remember she was a, a picture interest? Absolutely. Yeah, I remember. Right. Okay. And is she interested in joining us? Sure, sure. She is. Yeah, yeah she is. So I picked interest. I showed the presentation. I had sent her a video. And then I did a three-way conference call with Mr. Bright. Okay. We're gonna go in, we're gonna get into that here. So how do we do a three-way call? So it's pretty easy, right? It's pretty easy to be able to do uh, the, the peak interest and do send someone a video. Please, please, please do not blast out the video to all your contacts. Please do not do that. Right? I'm appealing to you, please do not do that. It seems like you're going to get more done, but no, it doesn't work well. If you check your WhatsApp messages, there's always someone blasting you something. Is that true? Is there almost every day someone blasting you something that, and you ignore it? Come off mute and tell me if you get a message almost every day blasted to you by someone you know, and do you read it or do you ignore it? Come off mute and tell me what do you do? Somebody, anybody, you, do you get any message that somebody, you could tell it's a blast, it's a link, it's a video, it's information about something. Do you read them or do you ignore them? Ignore. Ignore. So you said ignore. Anyone else? Scholar said ignore. I do ignore as well. You ignore Garby, say ignore. Sonia, um, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes we tell ourselves we'll get back to it, and that never happens. 
and you never get back to it, even though you think you might want to go and look, all right? Never get back to it. Anyone else? Anyone else wants to tell us what do you do when you get a blast message? Somebody blast out a message to you, and uh, you could tell that they send it to everybody that they know. We have four people so far that said, three people said they ignored. Sona said she sometimes says she'll get back to it, but never does. So what do you think is going to happen if you blast out the video? Somebody come on, please, and tell me. If you then, if you are ignoring the messages, people blast you. What do you think is going to happen when you blast out a message? Are your contacts going to look at it? Most of them, they ignore you. Most of them are going to ignore it. Right. So if you want to get someone's attention, you have to call them, ask them if they're interested in taking a look at the business. And if they say yes, they would like to take a look at the business, then you send them the video. I do not send someone the video unless they tell me that they're interested. So that's how I peak interest. I first find out if they're interested in making money, they want to make US dollars. And then once they say, yes, they're interested, then I will send them the video. And then once I once we move from sending them the video, now we can do the three-way call. So when we look at the results, who would like to be able to earn every week you withdraw 800 US dollars from Extreme, and 900 US dollars, or 1,000 as you have seen me do? Who would like to be able to do that every single week between now and next year? The end of next year. Every week you withdraw eight hundred thousand dollars. Unmute and tell me me if that's me, 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 me Doctor Sonia, me, <laughs> me, Doctor Sonia. Me. Anyone else? Me, 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 me. <laughs> right. Okay. Anyone else? Oh uh, Doris Komalape. All right. Great. Me, me. Abigail, all right, wonderful. Me, Anyone me, else? me too, me. I think, I think me. Garvey, awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome. Anyone Thank else? You. Dr. Harrison, awesome, great. Anyone else would like to withdraw money every week? Of course, yes. Excellent, Jonathan. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you, I showed you. I, I'm not hiding anything. I showed you what I earned, so it's not a secret. Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else would like to be able to withdraw every week? Yeah. So, anyone else? Anyone else? All right. So here's the thing. Of course, indeed. Every single week. Every, every single week. <laughs> every single week. <laughs> anyone else would like to withdraw from this platform every week? Because I've been doing this for almost four years now. Anybody mm -hmm. else? All right. So let's ask ourselves an honest question. An answer, please. If you work with a company that's paying you a salary right now and you do not show up and do any work for, you know, you, you sign up with the company, you register, they, they give you a job and you have a responsibility to do these certain things every week, um, make some calls, send some videos, put some people on a three-way call and, and they're paying you a salary every month to do it. And you do not show up for work, you do not make the calls, you do not do anything. Are they going to still pay you every week? Mm -mm. No. 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 Way. no. Would they, would they actually, actually to leave the company? If, right? If it is a job. I'm talking about you working it as a job now. I'm not talking about you working it as a business. I'm talking about you working it as a job. They employ you. They pay you whatever, 500 US dollars a week as your salary. And that's what they pay you every week if you do what you're supposed to do. Would they keep you on staff if you're not doing anything? Absolutely not. I don't think so. No, they would release you. So here's the problem that we run into with this model. There's nobody forcing us to make the calls. If you don't make the calls, there's nobody that's going to terminate your membership. There's nobody to hold you responsible for doing the work. You're going to have to do the work yourself if you want the results. So what we have to remember is that we are going to have to do the work if you want to get the results. I showed you a withdrawal weeks. I could go, I went back to a bit of July. I could go all the way back to January. If I want, if, if, you know, that's too much time to do that. But my point is, 
Would I be able to withdraw every week if I was not doing the work? Please tell me, somebody. Would I be able to do those $800, $900, $1,000 withdrawals every week if I was not doing the work? Somebody unmute and tell me. Anyone? Would no. I? Thank you, Garvey. I would not. So what we have to then realize is that the, the income comes after we do the activity. We're going to have to do the activity. We're going to have to do the work. And here's a beautiful thing about this. Let's say I was working a job. It doesn't matter what the job is. Medical doctor, which I am, or I'm working at a car dealership and selling cars. I'm pretty good at sales. Or I am working with a, a, a chain. I'm working with a corporation as an executive. Who determines how much money I can make? Is it me or is it the company that I'm working with? Who determines how much money I take home? Is it me or is it the company I work with? Is it you? Somebody I'm using, tell me. It's if you. I'm working as a, it's no, you. I'm working in a job. Let me ask the question mm -hmm. one more time. I'm working in a job at the bank or at the supermarket or at a school or at a medical office or with the government, who determines how much money I earn each month? It's the Is company it? that employs you. The company that employs me. Thank you, Garvey. Now, in extreme, with a compensation plan that is there, who determines how much money you make each week? Myself. Yourself. Yourself, right. So what we have to realize is that we have an opportunity here to earn a large income if we're willing to do what's required of us. And that's why I'm saying this particular call that we're doing is going to become one of the most important calls in the, the weekly activities because we're going to continue to strengthen and help people to develop the skill that will allow for you to build a successful team. And once you have a successful team, then your income will continue to grow because your income in this model is a measure of the number of successful partners you have. So my goal is to help people here to earn a thousand a month, 2,000 per month, 5,000 per month, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, $100,000 a month. I desire that for you. I'm here to help you to achieve that. Now, if you're going to want the big incomes, you're going to have to be willing to help other people to also achieve that. So each week, what you should seek to do is to have other people on this training with you. Because if you come alone, you will learn a lot. But if you come with a lot of people, you will earn a lot. Somebody type that in the chat. If you come by yourself, you will learn a lot. L-E-A-R-N. If you come with a lot of people, you will earn a lot. Somebody type that in the chat so that other people can get it. Because I didn't put that on the slide, right? But somebody type that in the chat for me. If you come to the training every week alone, you will learn a lot. You're going to learn a lot of great information that will benefit you. But if you come with a lot of people, you'll earn a lot. So understand that principle, and then we can now dive into the three-way call and the power of edification. So we're going to actually do three-way calls, right? It's pretty easy to do, okay? Uh, a three-way call is you, all right? You're gonna connect the person and then you're gonna also uh, connect your expert. We get the person on the line first and then we're gonna call. So I'm gonna switch over to my phone and uh, I'm going to seek to do, I'll, I'll do it this way. What I'll do is I'm going to try to do the three-way call first. And then I'm going to come back and train us on the edification part, right? You're going to hear me do it. And I'm going to come back and talk about edification. We're going to use this example to train, right? So let me go now and look for, I'm going to look for, um, right, let's see, Mercy, da, da, da. let's see, Matthew, da, da, da. Um, I'm, I need to just send this guy a quick message because he is going to be signing up. Um, 
and hopefully he signs up today, right? Um, somebody I've been following up with for a while, right? All right, cool. All right, so I'll get back to him when we're done here. So I'm going to now go to, oh, before I do this, before I do this, I have to show you uh, my list. Because this is a very practical thing, everybody. We're not here to, as I, I'm not here to blow smoke. I'm not here to um, just give you information that I am not doing. I'm giving you information of what I am doing. I want it to be very transparent, right? Because sometimes trainers have a tendency to give you um, information, but they are what, you know, based on what they read in books versus information based on what they're actively doing themselves. I don't believe in training you in that way of giving you information that I am not personally using, okay? I'm giving you what I know works. All right, so these individuals, I put, I, if you want to create it as an Excel file, you can, or you can write it in a book. If you have it as an Excel file, you're going to be able to put your comments over here. But I keep mine in, in paper form, in, in lots of different um, sheets of paper that I have, and I you know, record people's names and what they um, said in notes so I could follow up with them down the road because the fortune is in the follow. -up. So here are individuals that I'm going to try to do a three-way call with. So everybody on this list, I've already piqued their interest. You could see why stands for yes. I've already sent them the video, why stands for show the plan, okay? So I'm going to now go over to my phone. All right, so I'm gonna go over to my phone and we're now going to attempt to call these individuals. And I'm gonna do it live here in front of us. I'm bright, stand by for me. I went bright, are you there? Are you there, Bright? Yes, I'm here, Dr. Harry. All right, great. All right, so when I turn all these individuals, um, if I, when I add it to the line, just step away from the Zoom so that they, they don't hear. You know, you know. <laughs> all right, all right, so I'm gonna try Kibe Akinyemi. All right, let me see what the last thing here was. So I tried calling Kibe on Tuesday. I sent, you could see here, right? Let, let's just go back to the beginning of this, right? I asked her about the state of the economy in Nigeria. We're doing the chat. And um, she had checked us out before and she asked what changed. And then I sent her, she said, good, tell me more. Sent her the video. I tried calling her on Tuesday, I didn't get through. And then I sent her this message. All right, so please screenshot this so you could either type it in your own way. Uh, you could make some modifications to it based on where you are. But Kibe lives in Nigeria. So what I said to Kiba is that I asked her in the message if she watched the video, but then I told her that I have a leader that I wanted to introduce her to by chat. You could see it's in blue that she read it. So, all right, let me see if I could try to reach her. I didn't, I was unable to confirm that we would do the call during this time, but I'm just going to try to reach her anyway. All right. So if she answers, then I'm gonna do the edification and try to introduce her to Mr. Bright, who is waiting in the in, in, in the in the wings just in case she answers, right? So um, <clears throat> let's see if I get through to her. That's Kibe at the top of my list. Then if not, I'm gonna try me and then Nicholas. I'm gonna try Nicholas and then Mirabel and then Shay and then Afoke and then Define. All right, so I'm not getting through through right now. I'm not getting an answer. So let's move on. Next person, all right? And you know, you, you can't get your emotions tied up in, oh, they didn't answer, and why are they not answering? And you cannot get yourself caught up in that. You just need to just move on, prospect to prospect, all right? So, okay, so just hint me about it now. He wanted a hint. I sent him the video, um, but I haven't reached back out to him yet. This was on yes. the 24th of October. Right. I wish I'd call him within a day to two because when when two days pass, the person tends to forget about the information. Right? But let's see. Right, knee, video. And guys, please keep your line muted so that um, they don't hear you in the background um, when I'm trying to make these calls. All right, so uh, knee, add a knee. Is the line not ringing? Okay, so his line is not ringing. 
All right, so I'm going to go to the next person in the list. All right, <clears throat> so hopefully we get through to somebody. Nicholas. Nicholas, right? All right, that's uh, Nicholas to see if he's available. I tried him before, but I didn't get through. Let me try him one more time. Uh, I usually just try twice. If they don't answer after two times, I just move on. And I get them get back to them two or three months down the road. We'll explain about follow-up later on. There are several strategies to follow up that I'm going to train us on, and they work, okay? But uh, we'll get back to that later on, all right? I've already shown you that uh, as a leader, I'm, on, I'm the number one recruiter in the company across three accounts, right? So I'm not training you on stuff that I'm guessing. I'm giving you the real deal. So you guys are going to be able to earn money if you follow these instructions, period. All right, I'm not getting through to him. So skip over that. Let's move on. We'll get back to him later. If he doesn't, that's two times I've tried him. I won't contact him for another couple of months. But I'm going to drip on him with some very important information, and I'll show you how I do that. Mirabel. Mirabel. Umo. Let's try Mirabel. Let's see if we get through to Mirabel. Let's see. Okay. All right. So I sent Mirabel this video on Wednesday. All right. Especially items that I need to really convince people to buy. I cannot market anything to anyone. All right. So that, that, that's what her, her, her message was. So she cannot market anything to anyone. Well, let's see. I'm, I'm not concerned about that. My goal is to get her on a three-way call. My goal is to get her on a three-way call. And we take it from there. Okay, I'm not going to try to convince her to get involved. All I'm doing is peaking interest. I know if she wants to make money, send her the video, which I did. Third, I'm going to try to put her on a three-way conference call, which I'm trying to do right now. And it's not ringing. The next person up is Ashei Ibenam. Ashei Ibenam. Ibenam. All right, so her line is not ringing. It's not going through, so it's calling, but not ringing. All right, so we won't waste any. Oh, oh start ringing now. All right, let me try one more time. It was the network. Let's just try there, try there, try there. Hopefully, we get through. Da, 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 da. So, if we keep it very simple, everyone, and we don't make it complicated, and we don't try to do a bunch of different things we're going to make progress, okay? Do not blast out messages. Call people individually. Find out if they want to make money. Ask them to watch the video. Put them on a three-way conference call. If you keep it that simple, you're going to make progress. But if you try to, you know, be fancy and do all sorts of other things and, you know, try to use all sorts of different recruiting methods that you hear about over there, over here, you're going to mess it up and you're going to not get the results you're trying to achieve. All right, let's leave that alone. I'm not getting through. It's not ringing. All right, not hearing anything. All right, next person up is Shay Ibanam. Shay Ibanam, right? Let's see if we get through to Shay. All right, Shay Ibanam. Shay. Shay Ibanam. It's not E, it's Ibanam. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's try and see if we get through to him. Now we'll go to Afoke, right? Afoke is your prospect diarist, your, your, your lady that you introduced um, to the opportunity. So we're going to try to see if we get Afoke on the line. If not, we'll go to Define. All right, so Shay's line is not ringing. All right. All right, so that's not going through. Okay, and then we're going to try a 4K. Let's see if we, if we get a 4K. So a 4K was introduced by Doris. Doris is here, one of our partners. And uh, a 4K is her prospect. But as I spoke to her briefly, sent her the video. But she ha uh, we haven't uh, spoken after she got the video. So let's see if she is available. She's going to pick up the call now. All right. We now we we'll go to the next prospect I have, which is a fine. OK. 
Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. And net, the network is just not hanging out with us well today, but it's all right. It's okay. And um, I will have, and I have to do these through WhatsApp. Some of you will be able to do your local calls, right, um, with your partner in your country. If I am. All right, so that will increase the ability to be able to. Okay, so this gentleman here, I just sent him the video earlier, about two hours ago. Uh, he was driving, he said. All right, so it's ringing. This one is ringing. All right, let's see if we get through. That would be great. Get, get at least one person to hear their voice on the, on the training. So you could hear and see. A, a, okay, great. Hi, you fine? Hi. Hey, an excellent day, sir. How are you? I am being amazing and grateful. Thank you for asking. Awesome. Did you, did, you, did you get a chance to watch the video? Settle down. All right, great. You know what? what you know, okay, great. Ahead of you watching the video, though. I want to give you a chance to, you know, um, because you have an idea of what this is about. Okay, so did Chris did Chris explain to you that we have a trading academy where you can learn how to trade and make money? And then we also have a network marketing business that you can make money from. Just All right, okay, wonderful. All right, so what, what, what I want to do, I want to give you a chance. I'm going to give you a chance to meet a few people, like two or three people. But I, I want to try to give you a chance to meet one person right now that has a really great success story with this business in Nigeria. Okay? Okay. All right, his name is Mr. Bright Aja Ezukwe. I'm going to try to add him to the line. He lives in Uyo. All right? And, um, you know, last year, June, he was literally at the point of almost selling his car to support his family. And then he, he, he actually borrowed money to join us. We didn't have the money. I encouraged him to join us. I was following up with him for about a year. And then he joined us in July 2023. And then after about two weeks, he got to the $500 level. Then two months he got to the 1,000 US dollar level. And then he started trading with 50 US dollars after he learned that trade was making $1 per day, $2 per day. And right now he's doing an average of 200 US dollars a day. So I'm, I'm hoping that he'll be able to answer the call. All right, I'm trying to add him to the line right now. Okay, wonderful, he was able to answer. Hi, Mr. Bright, how are you, sir? Oh, man, I'm being amazing and grateful. Thank you for taking the call. I know how busy you are. I, I wanted to give Ifine a chance to meet you. Uh, Ifine is about to go through the details of the presentation. He hasn't seen the video yet, but I wanted to give him a chance to meet somebody who is already successful in the business. So thank you for taking the call. So Ifine, meet Mr. Bright. Mr. Bright, meet Ifine. Hi, so i i so Okay, but it's something you know about, right? You know, the new robotics, you know, okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Uh, was, I was uh, in uh, some time ago. Uh, Um, and I see the uh, 
Bills and wings, you know, wings and so on. And just imagine how much that is today. You know, the organization issue is actually country Nigeria today. And as I said, I'm getting to me that there is a projection on the picture for the next year. By end of next year, one day, I'm going to get about 6,800. Okay, so there you are. To actually get involved in uh, such a wonderful field, the available to any person who I think that media is now right because four four prices are not going to go down. It's just a retreat, not being the only as a group, right? And then you know, make some mistakes up and all of that. So I uh, really like, you know, to have a very serious before the fact is to have a man in skill. So I'd be glad to support you. I don't know why you might be introducing to the company. I need to make sure that we can help you check with this. Right? Yeah, so, so that's what it is. I don't know if you've got any question. Yeah, yes, I do. Yeah. Well, thanks, um, Stephen, as you said. Um, is it kind of the... Um, uh, what do you call them? Um, this type of business where you have to bring in somebody and get to point, you know. Okay, that's like a little bit. You know, network, uh, yeah. You know, so you bring somebody, um, you press a point, you know, you press a move, you know, all that. You know, it's not a lot. All right, all right. I mentioned two things. When I said, let's find out two ways of coming out. And all because there's the syndrome, and you can bump from your trading because the primary function or service of the academy is to teach you this skill of trading for the financial market. So, your typical path, your usual path, is a networking path, right? If you choose, if you choose to introduce all that other people. That's the networking. You find that name. Like, it's not a wrong name. Networking part. It seems to be a thing for you to use other people. What is it? You don't receive well in time. If you think okay. that you get one to learn the skill, the skill is the primary thing. You want to learn the skill. Some people say that um, I don't like networking. I mean, I will have a good simple, by the way, as you used to say, I don't like networking. This is the first thing I have ever said about the networking. As they go to the region of the people and money, if you keep their stuff that way up. And it was so easy that we said, I can never imagine. So that is it. So, but if you're if you're, if you're in that particular at the beginning, and you say, ah, I'm not interested, I don't, I don't like networking, as yeah, some people do, you know, then you can just focus on learning their skill. But I tell you, there is something, you know, that you'll be doing because of the kind of results you get. I know everybody has friends. You will but they have to talk about this to your friends and family. But at the beginning, you might want to get there. Okay, I think the, the skill, learning the skill, sounds more appealing to me, and I want to start from there. It's still, one of the start with two at the same time, like me, it's in the Thomas Smith, what is fine? It, 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 the price is obvious, but there is no obligation of, okay, you want to do this and this, you know, you just choose what you want to do. Second question. Um, yeah. In Satinos, yeah. um, the second training itself, yeah. Um, what is the minimum amount of money it is? Uh, okay, so to, okay, as trading capital, right? Trading capital, yeah. Okay, if you listen carefully, I say that I started with fifty dollars and I was paying like one dollar daily. So I'm paying like one dollar daily. You know, sometimes two, sometimes one dollar fifty cent as it gets to me. So that used to be an average of seven dollars weekly. You see, fifty dollars. And we was consistent for about in three months. So it depends. The answer to the question is that it depends on your capacity, financial capacity. Some people say, like me, some people do 100, some people start with 1,000. Start with 
thousand dollars. So if I'm doing computer defense or not, I'm not sure. I will be able to have one. Yeah, that's okay. All right, well, thank you. Um, yeah, that's okay. Now, you know, if you miss for excuses, you please this. And the business, you do uh, you know, profit. Else is sometimes. So what are the, what would you say, the loss, the loss rates? One of the most important things is that you will think that how they will expose you to is risk management. Okay. That's one of the most important skills that the academy will expose you to risk management. All right. So if you manage your risk, you will become business. If you don't manage your risk well, then that's when you talk about losses. But the one I mean by funds business is business to business when you start a business with fifty dollar and then by next month it becomes fifty dollar or seventy dollar, another month it becomes eighty dollar. You start see and then next month it turns to forty, and then another one you to pay twenty. It's no longer business, and that's not the kind of thing that will expose will expose the members. It's not that many of you that feel that will make you business. So when you start with the amount you start with the practice proper is management, then it can be can compound, it can make profit, and then the money will still be good to the market so that you have started. So yes, there is skill, but with the school, sorry, yes, there's risk, but the skill of this management that the academy will expose you to, which minimizes the risk of risk of the business, yeah, the losses of the there is minimum. Um, Mr. Bright, for your time, I really appreciate you taking the call. Uh, really appreciate you talking to the fine. Um, really, yes, if fine. Uh, it's just really to make the payment. You could, if you're paying with Nara, you know, we we can just send you an account to send the money to, and then you know we go ahead and we send us the information and we get you registered. We get you logged in. We walk you through the platform. Okay. Okay. Well, the training is like a school. So, you, you know, if you, you can't just send your children to school, right? You have to pay the school first. Okay, so, uh, okay. So, my initial capital will be like 
All right, so you are you ready to make the payment? Do it tomorrow. All right, here's here's what one great thing about the team. We're growing very fast. And you understand network marketing when other people can come in, we can place other people below you, right? All right. So I just got a message from someone who wants to get registered. He just asked me. Uh, uh, if, he can, if he can pay with his car, his domiciliary car. Uh, also, we have some other people planning to register tomorrow and Tuesday. So the sooner you get in, we can place some of these other people coming in below you. Okay? You got that? Right. But if you take a long time, then you come in below them. Right. Good, 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 good. All right, so with that said, um, when 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 do you want to register yourself? All right, that's fine. That's fine, it's fine. All right, so we're going to connect tomorrow. I look forward to working with you, and we're going to introduce you to some other members in the community as well. All right, have a good night. All right, thank you, Mr. Bright. All right, bye-bye. All right, so let's get into the training now. Let's get into the training. All right, let's get into the training about that. So Bright will be joining us back on this on the call here. But okay, all right, all right. So let's get back into. So I finished the three-way call with him. I could put yes here. The other ones I haven't gotten those done yet, right? But I finished the one with the fine. And what did he say? He Let's put his, his let's put the, uh, the answer here. What he's gonna do, he will register tomorrow. All right. Okay, everybody heard that, right? I mean, it, it, you know, anything can happen. I'm not saying he will, but that's his plan, right? He's gonna register tomorrow, right? Don't expect him to wobble, but anything can happen, all right? So let's now get into, get back to this, the meat of the matter here and talk about this three-way call process, right? And we're talking, we're going to talk about the edification triangle and we're going to get into, but before I get into that edification part um, and explain what edification is, all right, uh, I wanted to just, you know, let me explain edification first and then we'll come back to the call. So what I did, that you is me right here. So this was me. Uh, Refine was my friend, he's over here on the left, and this is Bright over here, uh, looking different. <laughs> but Bright is the expert, right? <laughs> Bright doesn't have long hair, but Bright is the expert on the right. So what I did was that I edified Bright, and because I edified Bright, it created credibility and respect between Define and Bright. And then there is some level of trust between me and my friend, Define, which is a friend of Chris, who is a friend of mine. So there's Chris in between him and I, but Chris and I go about years. But Chris is a, Chris told Define about it, and Define wanted to understand the business. And now you see Define is ready to sign up, okay? So PS3, so somebody, all right, I want us to now talk about this, all right? Question for everybody. Um, after I introduced the call to Bright, what did I say during the call? Anybody, come off me. Did I speak? Did I interrupt him? Did I tell Bright to add this, to take this out? Somebody come off me and tell me, what did I say during the course of the call? Nothing. Nothing, right? Nothing. Thank you very much, Scola. Anyone else? Okay, stop you sharing. See your mouth. <laughs> Say that again. You zip your mouth. I zip my mouth. I didn't say a word, right? So I didn't show you this picture. I didn't realize the screen wasn't sharing. So that's you. That's me at the top. Me right there, you. Over to the left is a fine. Over to the right is bright. So we're going to discuss this edification triangle. 
So I zip my mouth. Now question, based on my experience in this, could I answer all of his questions? Without introducing him to Bright. Could I have spoken to him about all of what Bright spoke to him about without introducing him yes, to Bright? Yes, you could have. Yes, I could have, right? But I went ahead and I introduced Bright anyway, even though I know everything. Why? Because people need to hear from a third party. They need to hear from somebody independent of you to really raise their belief to be able to take action and join the business. So if you do not try to get the three-way call done, you are going to lose out, all right? Now, question, when did I send him the video? Anybody? When did I send him the video? Anybody remembers? Come up, mute and tell me. When did I send him the video presentation? I think Cut when is showed it? Interest. He showed interest. Or he showed interest, all right. Did he watch the video presentation as yet? No. No, right? But I already know he has interest and I moved him into the three-way call process. And then we, did, we, we had a verbal presentation over the phone. And now he may go back and watch the video to get further confirmation. All right? Now, let's talk now about the edification process. When I introduced him to, to, to Bright, does anybody remember if I, if I if, how, how did I term Mr. Did I say Bright or did I say Mr. Bright? Did I say Mr. Define? Does anybody remember what I did? Well, you have to, you have to show, um, as I say, you're Define, so you have to say Mr. So Mr. Okay. Bright now is seen, seen, Mr. Bright is now in the expert shoes. And that's why you have to address him. Good. And then did I say Mr. Define? Or did I just say if I? Think you said if I. I said if I. I didn't say Mister. I did that right. deliberately. I want us to understand how important that part is. So when you're going to introduce your expert, you have to say Mister or Miss or Madam, and then your person call him by the first name. Even if I'm putting, you know, I've done many three way calls, right? And even when I'm introducing an honorable senators in Nigeria or very successful business people or pastors or leaders, I always try my best to call them by the first name, right? You know, because sometimes you have to give them their title, you know, but most of the times I will say, you know, John, meet Mr. Bright, or Paul, meet Mr. Bright, or Mary, meet Mr. Bright, or because I do a lot of three-way calls with, with Mr. Bright, right? I do a ton. Now, somebody come off mute. What did I say about Mr. Bright before I put him on the call? What did I say about Mr. Bright before I put him on the call? Anybody? Just generalize. You don't have to go into detail. Or did I just put Mr. Bright on the call and say, Mr. Bright, meet, define, define, meet Mr. Bright? Or did I deliberately explain some things about Mr. Bright first before putting Mr. Bright on the line? Right, so, so yes, no. Yeah, so it's because I'm, of Mr. Bright. Thank you. You're going to say something, um, Dr. Copeland? Yeah, go right. ahead, Victor. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Victor. No, I was saying that you speak Isle of Mr. Bright. You know, you speak, you, 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 you speak big of him, if that's a, if that's a word, you know? Yes, so, yeah. which, which will show that respect, you know? Correct. You're going to say, Dr. Copeland, go ahead. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. You, you, you showed, you edified, meaning that you, you gave a little bit of uh, background in terms of the relationship between you, Ms. you and Mr. Bright and how Mr. Bright has been doing in this company. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, so what I did is that I spoke about Mr. Bright before I added Mr. Bright to speak to my friend, if I am. So you mm -hmm. see, if you look at the relationship, through a friend, I have trust with 
defined. I have a business relationship with Mr. Bright and I edified him. I didn't just put him on the line. I spoke highly of him before I added my friend. And what me speaking highly of Bright does is raises Bright respect in, the, in my friend's eyes. And because I, I, even though Bright and I are very close, we're very good friends. I did not put him on the line. I said, you know what, Bright? Meet, find, find, meet Bright. No, you find, meet Mr. Bright. Those of us who master this particular skill of edification, your income is going to explode. Because even though I know everything about the business, I did not waste my time trying to explain it to you fine. Because I'm, I'm, I'm the one who is introducing him to the business. I need Mr. Bright as the expert in the picture if I'm going to have success with this. And if I don't do that, I'm going to restrict myself I'm going to make it difficult to, to do the business um, and I'm going to restrict my income because I need to edify Mr. Bright to be able to bring a member aboard. I don't just go ahead and just talk to people on my own. Yes, I can. And I've been in doing this now for, I've been in network marketing for 14 years and I'm still doing three-way calls with every prospect that, I, that has an interest because I know how important the three-way call is. People need to hear from a third party. And it is the edification of the third party that determines their respect for the third party because they don't know anything about Mr. Bright. They don't know him. So if I don't do the work of edifying him properly, then he won't get the due, what he's due. And then I end up losing out. I end up losing out greatly because I did not do the proper edification. So this is so important that we sh should understand. It's so important for us to follow and not take this part lightly. I tell you, those of us who master edification with the three-way call process, you are going to see your business grow really fast, okay? All right, you're gonna see your business grow really fast. So it's important that we do that, okay? I hope the, the information that we shared today, we're over the time, we wanna keep these calls to an hour. It's recorded, I'm gonna post or upload a recording later for those who uh, may want to go over it again, and for, um, you know, unfortunately for those who are not here to participate. But I want to open up for questions first before, you know, we shut it down. So anybody has any questions, you know, please go ahead. Any questions, anyone? Any questions? Unmute and ask any question at all about the whole process of what we experienced, what you heard. We did it live. You saw this three-way call live. Um, and direct, you, you heard the gentleman say, yes, he's going to make his registration payment tomorrow. All right. Any question. questions from anyone? Question, Dr. Hardy, question. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Um, before now, um, I had always thought that it is in Africa that the title Mr. Matters. And um, I do talk that over there in the States or in the Western world, as we refer to, you know, uh, to it from here, that, you know, uh, people are okay with just people's their name is okay. And without even the title or, um, or sometimes their qualification. So... Uh, but in in your distance now, you did mention about that title. So I want to be sure that, um, is it because we are Africans or you would do the same if the person is not, is, a, is not an African? Yeah, I would, do, I would do the same anywhere in the world a person is, any country is the same principle. Um, if the person has a title like medical doctor or doctor, you know, um, if it if if it's a you know honorable in in the political system, you know, a, you know, a, a bishop of a church, I may mention that person is a bishop. I mean, bishop, uh, IBA, meet Mr. Bright, you know, or um, but those are the instances where I use a person's title. Yeah. But if not, then it's first name. You know, Dr. Copeland is a friend of mine. And if I was going to do a three-way call to introduce Dr. Copeland to you, I'd say, Sonia, meet Mr. Bright. Mr. Bright meets Sonia. Sonia mm -hmm. is a medical doctor in Jamaica, sir. 
and I would, mm -hmm. I would leave it there. So if you want to know, go back and say, hey, Dr. Copeland, Dr. Sonia, fine. But I'm going to tell her, Sonia, meet Mr. Bright, even mm -hmm. though I know she's a medical doctor. But mm -hmm. that's it because she's my friend. But if she's not a friend, and I don't know her that well, I don't know if she's fussy about her title, then I would say, Dr. Copeland, meet Mr. Bright. <laughs> but uh, generally, I would. Well, go ahead, Dr. Copeland. You were going to say something. I just wanted to, I just wanted to confirm that you... You are consistent with the formality, you know, um, and consistent wherever it is the prospect is. Even if they're there in the States, in the Caribbean, um, in Africa, that, that the posture you adopt is the same. Okay. Awesome. Great, great question, Bright, and great observation. Um, any other question from anyone else? This is the this is the learning curve, everyone. This is where you get um, more deeper clarity and better understanding. Doctor Harry, good day. Uh, we have the new members who were first in the meeting, so nothing was first said about the business. No, okay. Your your line is muffled, Doris. What did you say you wanted to do? I said we have new. People that were invited for this meeting, and um, nothing was said about the business. Okay, you have to send them the video presentation about the business. There's a 24 minute video presentation, I'm going to send it to you right now, and then that explains what the business itself is about. Yes, um, doc Dr. Benjamin, if, if it's an updated video, please send it to me as well. Yeah, okay, let me send me, that to you too. Me, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> All right. Okay, who that's Copeland, Abigail, Darius. And then too, please. Thank you very much. Oh, and Garby? Okay, Garby as well. All right, Thank let me you. just send. And Carlene. Okay, let me send you that too. Uh, da, da, da. Scholar do. Okay. All right, let me... Let me go ahead and send this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it in the... Um, put it in a chat. You know, I have, a, I have a group chat that I have a... Not everybody. I think most of you are on this list here. So let me just send it to this. And then that way, everybody here should get it. Um, Dr. B, quick question. Go ahead. Um... Is it the 24 minute video or is, is that a five minute video you're 24, sending? The 24 minute video. I've got. But, but do we yeah, have a shorter the, video as well? The five minute video, the challenge I have with it is that it doesn't get into cost and it doesn't get into the network marketing side. So we end up having to do twice as much work. Um, because when you send it to them, the, all they see is they hear about the education, but they haven't heard anything about the business. So it's, okay. it's quite restrictive. Now, some people who's attend, you know, they're giving me a hard time when I'm prospecting them on the sound, like I'm busy, I don't have time to watch a 24 minute video, then I will um, send them the six minute. But I ask them, when can you watch a 24 minute video presentation? So they know upfront that they're going to have to invest 24 minutes to watch it. And if they give me a, a man, 24 minutes, I, I, do I have 24 minutes to watch a video? I said, okay. I could send you one for six minutes, right? Which is the shorter peak interest video, right? So that's uh, that's how I approach it. Okay, Victor? Okay, so you may want to send us both videos then. You may want to send the team both videos. Um, the six minute video, okay, for those, is there anyone here who does not have the six minute? Carlene? Or send me a WhatsApp chat. Please, Carly, Abigail. 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 All right, just send me a WhatsApp chat saying six minutes, so I'll send you that when I'm when I'm through. Okay. All right, good. So I'll send you. Uh, in my mind, I know how Carly and uh, Abigail, but if anybody else wants it, I'll send it. All right. So. Thank you. I got the other one. The twenty-four. Okay. Yeah, great. So that video has. 
um, I've gotten a lot of results with it. And um, a lot of people get a clear picture and understanding of the business. And then the preamble before it as well is useful in uh, bringing up why it's important to get involved with us. So it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's been getting very good results. In fact, it has gotten 1,300, almost 1,400 views in three months, right? So it's, 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 been, work, it's been working and it's been get, helping us to get better results. All right. Um, the other thing is, is uh, the last thing I wanted to mention is at the end of the call, and Mr. Bright I handed the call back to me, and he told me that he was going to sign up tomorrow. What did I say to him? What was what, one of the things when I when he said he was going to sign up tomorrow? I said fine. But what did I what did I say about him coming aboard and why he should try to come aboard quickly? Anyone remember that? Yes, you told him that uh, normally we we register the people and uh, the people have come first. So if he can come and you say to this somebody, you got a, a text from that is going to register. So if he comes, he's going to be on top, then they would come under him. And you told him, if he doesn't come, if they register before him, then he will be under them. Am I right? Yes, perfect. <laughs> perfect, Abigail, perfect. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you if you just get those little pieces, and then over time I'll, I'll sh you know, share with you other tips and strategies that you will use to improve your results, you're going to actually get much more results. Right? So it's very simple here. Peak interest. I know they don't want to make money. Don't send out blast messages. Right? Do the hard part of the work by calling people one after the other. The sick, next, send them the video. And the, the most important part is the three-way call. Right? Let's go back to, um, let's just look at this quickly. Right? Um, notice that no three-way call here. Okay? But the three-way call was done with define, and the outcome is he'll register tomorrow. Okay? Please, please, please do three-way calls. I'm available, right? If you need my edification, you know, I'll, I'll help you to edify me if, if you don't, you know, because you don't want to make it too long, right? You want to you want to do it in less than a minute, all right? Edification, less than a minute, okay? And then you can now uh, connect the prospect to me, okay? on a call. So we're going to have a very, very productive time going forward, everybody. Okay, everybody on this line, we're going to work with you to help you to get past, you know, initially we have a $500 and $1,000 for those who are not yet there. But the goal is to get you to $10,000 a month. And the way to do that is to, is to help more people to be successful, right? So happy recruiting everybody we're going to have a very strong month make sure you qualify for your cap sign up three people get three and three you get a free cap from extreme if you sign up um one person between now and december you get a free t-shirt and if you sign up if you become an apprentice for the first time you get an extreme hoodie okay so you don't want to you don't want to be left out of that those goodies and they'll be mailed to you at your address sign up one person send your Mail your ticket in, you get a, you get the shirt mailed to you. Sign up three people, three and three, you get a cap. You sign up and become an apprentice for the first time, you get an extreme hoodie. All right, I don't think you have any more questions. All right, thank you very much for showing up, everybody. Really appreciate you all being here. And it was really, it was really a great.